We're going to do the wrist grab. So remember we did the wrist grab with this and with both hands last time. Well now we're going to do wrist grab like this. He's grabbing over and also with two hands. All right? So let's just show you with one hand first. Let's just do one hand. So this is very common in the street uh, against women. Okay? A man comes up and say, hey, come with me. Mm -hmm. Or give me your money or something like that. They grab your wrist. Okay? So very simple. Here you grab. And all you have to do is make your hand into a blade and go straight up to your ear like this. Make your hand to a blade and go straight up to your ear. So you go from the front, it's just make your hand into a blade and go straight up. Make sure that the elbow does not come up and the shoulder does not come up. Keep your shoulder low, keep your elbow low, and just move just your hand if you can, straight up to your ear. If it's this hand, same thing, just move it up to your ear, straight up, just like a robot. Okay? So he's grabbing and then just move it to my ear. Okay? And he can grab very hard. He's stronger than me. He's got, he's got really strong grip, this guy. Okay? He's going hard. And I'm just moving my hand, touching my ear. And then and you have, you grab onto it. It's hard to grab on, right? Yeah. So this is a leverage that you create with your structure of your body going against just his thumb. That's why he's, he's having a hard time getting the grip. Okay? So that's the first technique. He grabs and then do this. He grabs this one, touch my ear. So that's one one variation. Second variation is just go diagonally to touch the other here. Okay. So you can grab and go touch the other here. This one, touch the other here. See? Very simple. Alright? So if you want to practice this, you get good at that, and then you just have to close your eyes and do it. So you can grab either hand. Eyes are closed, and I just learn to react to it based on just touch without even thinking and without anticipating what's gonna happen. Okay, so right now I'm going to touch it straight to my ear, or you can do diagonally. Huh? Diagonally. Notice that I am not trying to yank it back. That's too much movement. Yeah, I'm trying to keep as little movement as possible, and just move my hand if possible. Okay, so that's the drill that you can do. So now we're going to do add another TV, which is just a punch or a strike, to go along with the wrist grab. So remember we did this, but why not, why not add a punch along with it, or a palm strike? Okay? Because if he, you can't get him to lose his grip here, boom, that's going to help him lose the grip. <laughs> okay? Okay, so I'm simulating it by hitting his chest, but in reality, you want to go eyes or just palm to the face. Okay, so the drill would be here, he grabs you and then combine it at the same time. Okay, or he grabs this one, combine it at the same time. Okay, so that's going straight up. All I'm doing is, boop, or boop. Okay, now the diagonal one is similar. I go this way, and then I chop down. Okay, so I go diagonal, and then it's a the perfect place to chop to the neck. Okay, just be careful in training. Chop the chest just for training. Boom, chop, chop, okay, chop. In reality, it's gonna go down on the neck diagonally like this, and then you run. Okay. So, the drill you can do, bam, then, chop, punch, run away. Chop, punch, run away. Chop, chop, run away. Chop, chop, run away, okay? So, those are two techniques against the single hand over top grab. We did the vertical rise and diagonal rise and how to follow up with that. All right, so to find some technique on how to defend against hand grabs when he grabs post grip wrist at the same time. All right, so what we want to do is you want to scoop him in like this. That's number one, number two, and three. So let me show you very slowly. So you want to do scoop. Let's say you want to scoop up some water to drink. You want to scoop up some water to drink from the lake, okay? So you scoop halfway, then you're going to grab his arm, do this, uh, do the, do the single thing that we did in the last one, and then we're gonna strike. So I'm scooping up water to drink. Now he's already in a weak position. You see his hands bending backwards like that. So from here, I want to grab his wrist here, or grab his forearm here, while this one strips out, just like we did in the last one. So here, I'm doing what we just did last one. Strip out here. Notice that now I have both of his hands grabbed with one hand. I'm grabbing his hand here, and he, because his instinct is to grab on, he doesn't let go, all right? 
So at the same time, now I gotta control both hands with one hand, where I can go palm, palm, palm my leg until he lets go. Okay, most likely he's gonna let go if he's getting smacked in the face. Okay, so then you run. Okay, so nice and slow. You grab both hands, scoop up water, grab one arm, one forearm with the other hand, so now you have control of both hands. Now what you don't want to do is push all the way out there because this, then he lets go of this hand, he's going to punch you with that hand. So you don't want to, grab again, you don't want to push it out because now he's going to have that arm loose. He's going to punch you with the hand. So you just want to move just enough so that it gets control of this, okay? Now another advanced version of this is move in and now see I trap his arm and then use my elbow to trap his arm and then he can't even get that on up. Bam, 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 and then run away, okay? So you do that too, okay? Use your elbow to step in and trap his arm with your elbow. Bam, bam, on the log, bam, run away, okay? So if you do it fast, it's just this, okay? Okay, nice and slow, slow, boom, trap, bam, bam, slow, trap, and run away. Okay, so those are the three techniques of how to deal with wrist grabs from the top. We did the single and one double. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed that video. If you like this video, make sure